Finally, the Point 1 update has been released for Final Cut Pro 10.8. After all this time, since 10.8 was announced in late June, it's taken this time to get a safe version to actually securely use on your major projects. 10.8.1 is available now in the App Store to download. But before you upgrade, make sure you've saved a compressed version of your 10.7 version, just in case there are any bugs not yet found, or you've got projects that need to be kept in the 10.7 version when you're collaborating with other editors. And just a tip, if you do collaborate, try to get all the collaborators to upgrade at the same time. And this is how to save a copy of the 10.7 version. Go to the Applications folder in your Macintosh HD folder. Find Final Cut Pro and right click. Select Compress and it'll create a zip file. You'll see that I've got a number of zip files of previous versions, just in case. No need to do anything else in this folder as the install process will replace the current Final Cut Pro with the new version and it will ignore the zip files. And this is how to upgrade. Open the App Store app and select Updates. Or go to the App Store on the web and type Final Cut Pro. And you'll see the process in the App Store window. And also, if you look in the Applications folder while the upgrade's taking place, you'll see the circle closing on the currently active Final Cut Pro app. In this case, it's called Final Cut Pro 10.7.app. When the update's complete, it'll now show 10.8.1, and the App Store will show as recently updated. It's interesting to note that the 10.8.1 app has grown by a gigabyte since 10.7, and even grown nearly 9 megabytes since the original release of 10.8.0 in June. That just shows how much work's been done with Final Cut Pro between 10.8.0 and 10.8.1. And when you launch any libraries created in 10.7 or earlier, you'll be asked to update the library. That's all you need to do. And if you ever need to reinstall a 10.7 version, trash the new 10.8 version and unzip the 10.7 zip file in the Applications folder. Be aware though, any libraries that were updated to 10.8 will not open. Click this video to see the process. Thanks for watching.